Good morning, friends. I thought I would give a try at vlogging today. Uh, my husband and I have both vlogged like a little bit marginally when we've gone on vacation. Uh, we did a few of our Europe uh, vlogs and we usually vlog every year when we go down to vacation with family and stuff down to uh, Myrtle Beach and everything. So I haven't really ever tried doing this, but I thought today I have a few things on the go, do a little bit of a day in a life and see how that goes and maybe it gives you guys a chance to uh, I don't know, get to know me a bit more, see my life a bit more, whatever. It's not like it's an exciting life or anything, but uh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. So today I plan on filming a couple of videos. Um, I just wanted to um, film um, a little bit of a haul that I did. Um, and then I just thought I would film a goals for 2018 video. Um, and then with uh, talking about my goals and stuff for 2018, um, one of the goals is to get uh, healthy this year. Um, and I'll ex ex have expanded upon that more in the video and stuff. Um, but one of the items that I um, have ordered um, to help me reach that goal this year um, arrived yesterday and it's still in the box and everything and I am dying to get into that and uh, get started with all of that. Wow, <laughs> vlogging thing, your arm gets tired. <laughs> Um, anyways, and so uh, one of the, the girls that I'm friends with, um, Andrea, actually, through uh, YouTube and Instagram, um, I had mentioned to her that I was buying this item, and she was like, oh, I'd love to see what that's all about and everything. Please, please video that. So I thought I'd kind of film unboxing it, um, setting it up, everything like that, so you can see what it's all about. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes and where I go from there of what else I maybe film and talk about more in the future on that, but uh, that's how that's gonna go. Um, then my daughter's working on her speech and everything today, so I have to help her with that. It's that time of the year again where the grade fours and up, they are, do their annual speeches and everything, so working on that. My kids are gonna go with my parents tonight to an OHL hockey game, so while they are out, my husband and I thought, we'd maybe take advantage of the uh, fact that we don't have children for a couple hours this evening and maybe go out for dinner. So maybe I'll vlog a little bit of that to do. So we'll see how this goes. Um, you know, bear with me as I'm doing this kind of for the first time. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna head downstairs. Whoa, that's close. Uh, head downstairs and with my little items here in my Sephora bag so that I can film that first video. Uh, my room. I'll do a quick, a little bit of a, there, it's, I don't want to show too much of it because it's slightly embarrassing. Um, it's a bit of a disaster at the moment um, because I am in the process, oh, it's going to get dark for a second, in the process of uh, organizing it and kind of trying to redo my closet up a little bit better. Not a big closet by any means, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to make the best of what I've got and kind of try to make it look a little more pretty and, you know, that type of thing. So, just heading down to the basement where my office is and I'm going to, uh, got everything set up thanks to the wonderful help of my husband. He is the tech guru. I think I've mentioned before that he also, I mean, he works, but he also does photography and uh, like he shoots weddings and family photos and all that kind of thing. So he's got all the equipment. His equipment, um, it scares me quite a bit, I have to be honest, um, because he's got really good quality equipment. Um, and you know, God forbid I was to wreck it or break it or do something to it that's not good um, because that would affect him business wise and everything. So I usually get his help. I'm definitely not the most tech savvy person by any means either. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't really understand it much. So I'd like to get a little bit better at that, but he's gonna help me with that. So let's get started with the filming of videos. I will do a little bit of a time lapse. Uh, maybe try to throw in some fun music for you so you can uh, see how my day's going and I will get back to you guys later.
that is one video down. I'm gonna film one more. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not changing anything else like that. I'm just gonna keep rolling with it while the kids are being quiet and I have the time to do it. So I'm gonna film my next one. The first one that I just filmed was the uh, little hall one that I'm sure you could see a little bit of what was going on there. And the second one that I'm gonna film is my goals for 2018. So I kind of have those all laid out in my head right now, but I think I will try to write them down to kind of help keep me on track. We all know that I love to talk, and if I'm not careful, I'm gonna go way off topic or just ramble on forever, so I'm gonna write those out for a second here, and then I'm gonna get going with filming those. So I just finished my second video for the day. Not too bad considering um, that I did have a little mini haul, but hey, that's the spot. It's not too uh, shabby. I don't have too much of a mess. I just have my little Sephora bag to take upstairs. So that is awesome. So yeah, I just finished filming my second video. I hope it was okay. I talked about some of my goals for 2018 and everything. Um, yep, um, talked a lot. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I am planning on uploading it and I hope that I do. I just noticed as I'm doing this, I have a really bad tendency to look up at myself in the viewfinder, which I'm sure most of us do, but I will get better at that, I promise, if I continue to keep making vlogs. It's hard not to, because uh, you're trying to make sure you're centered and everything in the background is looking great and whatever, but uh, I will definitely try to do that better. Anyways, yes, I'm hoping that video will go up. I don't know, I'm gonna see what it sounds like, whether I made sense, I didn't go off on too many tangents or whatever, so hopefully that video will get uploaded, or maybe I'll just refilm it again, who knows, we'll see, but, um, I, I would like for it to go up. I'd like to hear what your 2018 goals are for this year. So, um, I do have a battery flashing because I did use this camera to um, film some of the time lapsing and everything uh, for you. So I'm going to change the battery. Um, I may or may not change as well. I think this is probably what I'm gonna wear out tonight for um, date night with my husband. But um, as we are unpacking, un oh my goodness, let me try that again. As we are unpacking um, the box. So, <laughs> like I said in my last clip, I saw the battery flashing. I was pretty much sure that it was going to die mid sentence and yep, it did. So I think the last thing I was probably saying was that I was considering um, going and changing before we open this huge box. I'm not sure that I'm gonna do that right now because I'm not even sure I'm gonna have a ton of time to to actually try this today. We'll see if I do, then I'll go change at that point. Um, we have a few other things that we're trying to do today. We're kind of running out of time now, but that's okay. I filmed two videos. Uh, we, Abby has worked on her speech a little bit. Um, we need to put a bit more work into it, but for right now, we are going to take this big box downstairs that I'm so excited to get into. My husband, Rick, he's holding it, and my daughter, Lily, has part of the other pieces. So this is the box. So Strong bad. hubby's gonna carry it down the stairs for me. It's so pretty sad bad. that if I can't even get this down the stairs, how I'm gonna actually be able to fold this up and everything, but we'll see. It says it's 100 pounds. Is that what it says? Yeah. Ooh. That's a lot of pounds. Let's see you, can you do it by yourself? <laughs> All right, watch out, Lily. Let's Is bring it down the stairs. Um, are you okay? There's yeah. a hole in the bottom. Both kids are here. Oops. They don't need to get see that. Both kids are here. They are excited. Is it going to focus? There we go. Both kids are really excited for this action today. They have been dying to see what's in this box too. Abby has pointed out numerous times along with, um, with Rick that this box is really big and how are you going to, um, where are we going to manage to keep this in the house? Oh, yep. There's the cat too. All right. <laughs> That would be Gibby. Um, all right, there we go. So we are going to unpack this thing. I think I've mentioned that it's a reformer's Pilates machine. Can't I'm not 100% sure if I have. It's um, by Aero Pilates. I'm super excited right to see it. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Lily. 
<laughs> All right, we I will put you down so you can see what we're doing and uh, maybe another time lapse as we unpack this and we'll let you know after how it goes and how easy this thing was to set up or not. So here we go. have everything set up here um, that's the Aero Pilates reformer um, I think they call it Aero Pilates reformer now that I said that yes reformer plus um, so yes that's it um, it took a little longer than expected to set up not too too not too bad um, it took just a little bit longer. Um, they kind of, you know, as they do on the shopping channels and that type of thing, they make it sound like it's, you know, 10 seconds and it's done and, and whatever. So it took a little longer than 10 seconds. Um, the thing does fold up and everything. So I'm hoping, because clearly this is right in the middle of our nice kind of basement area where we all come down and watch movies, the kids play and everything. So it does fold up. Hopefully it'll be um, as easy as they say it's supposed to be. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting started at it. Um, I guess the difference between this and like just regular Pilates mat class is like with mat and everything, you're just, you are using the breathing techniques which you'll use with this. Um, but this offers a little bit more resistance. Um, because of the cords and everything that are with it. Um, they're basically like kind of different um, sizes of bungee cords, I would say. Um, so they offer different resistance, so you're able to just get a little bit further of like an upper body and a leg workout. Um, and it without, say like, you know, you can do like lunges on here, you're, you're basically doing a, what would amount to what a lunge would do, um, but you're doing it lying down. So like as opposed to in the gym when you're doing lunges and everything, or you were running, or different things, um, it just uh, puts more pressure and everything on your knees and different body joints. So this relieves that pressure. So I'm really looking forward to that. I definitely need that as I'm getting too close to me. Sorry about that. Um, it also has, which I just have leaning up against right here. Um, that's the rebounder. So it's interchangeable with this piece here, which is the foot bar. So you just pull that out and then you can put this in um, instead. So that's where you would get um, your cardio piece from as well and just from the few moments of testing it out for a second trying to get everything set up um yeah I can see how that's gonna do that for me so I'm excited about that um the other thing is so I'm gonna put you on like a bit of a time lapse I'm gonna do the first video that did, did come with three different videos um and it has all different levels I'm clearly gonna start at the beginning level as much as I have worked out in the past and I have done Pilates in the past. It's been a very long time, so I'm gonna follow along and start at the very beginning. Make sure that I know how to use the machine and everything correctly. I figure they'll give you little tips and tricks and stuff um, in the beginner videos and everything of how to do that. So hopefully it'll go well. I think I've got everything set up to the proper kind of length and everything and adjustments for, for me. Um, so hopefully that'll all go well and uh, yeah, cue the time lapse. <laughs>
was my first time on the Aero Pilates Reformer. That was pretty good. I do feel like slightly windished. Wind, that's not even a word, Haley. I do feel slightly windished. <laughs> um, that was like, a, like that was just kind of an introductory, like a very, very basic introductory. Um, you know, kind of only doing about five or 10 of each movement. Maybe that is a normal reformer class. I don't know, as I've never done an actual reformer class before. Um, but it did seem to go by pretty quick. I definitely felt it um, in my thighs and stuff when we're doing it. I definitely felt it in my abs. Um, I have no abs anymore. Um, so hopefully they will build up and get flatter and everything over time. Um, I do remember when I watched um, the lady on the shopping channel, um, she said that it takes about, to see any results, um, it takes about three times a week at 20 minutes and I could see that that would definitely do something. I plan on trying to do it a little bit more and I'm gonna try some of the other workouts the next time and see if they like are a bit longer, they have a few more things to them, you know, whatever, and see how much of a sweat I build up at that point. I do know when you use the rebounder, especially if you're using it say for 20 minutes where like this time I only used it for maybe like five, not even, cause like it was a very quick workout. Like I said, the introductory one, it was very quick. Um, I could see that you would definitely work up a sweat. She said she always does and she's like a pro at this and has been doing it for 20 years, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'm looking forward to doing more of this. Um, the rebounder was definitely fun. We didn't actually, this piece up here, which she didn't actually do any of the exercises in the introductory. This is the arm bar. So you'd have, except I have resistance on right now on this thing. So you'd have your, your bed thing that you lay down on and it would be up more towards the top here and then this would basically be like you know you're doing chin ups or pull ups and and that kind of thing so I'm excited to do more with that and do some more arm workouts and everything um yeah it should be pretty good it was pretty comfy um a little bit different getting used to like how it felt like on your shoulders and everything I'll show right here like this is the towel I did purchase the towel um separately and it has like the little silicone grippies on the back of it here um, so that would be especially for when you're using the um, the rebounder which is this piece so it's like a almost like a trampoline basically so you push off from that with your legs and stuff and I can see how you would definitely for doing that for 20 minutes you would probably build up quite a sweat uh, and then this is what your shoulders go against to help you I guess not lift your shoulders above your Above where they should be and everything so just kind of getting the used to the feeling of that and getting yourself adjusted on here um, that felt a little bit different but I think again that's going to come in time this the um, I think they call it the carriage the carriage piece here it was very comfortable um, this does adjust and everything too um, and then these were pretty comfy to use they have they are like just like a normal you can see like a strap uh, let's get this focusing here Still not going to focus, is it? It's hard to do this by one-handed. There we go. I think that's going to do it. So it's just kind of like your regular strap and everything like that. And then it does have these fuzzy grips um, on it. That's what they called them. That's their technical term. Um, comfort grips, I guess. And so it does make it a little bit softer. But I think, like, I don't know if Rick, my husband's ever going to use this or not. I think he could get a pretty decent workout on it. Um, we might take those off just so it's easy to adjust the, the links and stuff for both of us to be able to use it easier but anyways yeah you can hear that I am slightly winded and considering that was like oh I don't know 15 20 minutes how long did you say that probably was Rick What's that? how long do you say I was probably on that thing for 20 minutes. about 20 minutes so yeah for a 20 minute workout that's pretty good but it's it's cool how um here's some go drink of water it's cool how it encompasses the whole body at the same time um, your legs are going, your legs are going, and definitely your abs are going for every single exercise. It just can't help but do that. Like you're having the kids just got picked up. They have gone. Woohoo, date night for us. Woohoo. I'm just gonna go out for a very non-fancy whatever dinner, just a quick dinner so that we're back in time for the kids. But uh, anyway, I'm just wearing my coach scarf tonight. My um, faux fur pink, I can't really tell the, the blush pink on this thing, but Black Stars Avec Le Fee coat. And where are we going here? There we go. And my Eva clutch. So, yes, all ready to go. 
I'm gonna hit the hit the road there, bud. <laughs> All set. <laughs> I'm wearing my you, bud. black jacket with black shirt and black shirt. Black on black on black. All set. And then there's the kitty who the is me. getting all playful and crazy uh, just as we're about to go out. Mr. Gibby. <laughs> Cutie patootie that he is. We'll see you later, Gibby. Kid free night, let's go. Yep. So the professional vloggers that we are <laughs> Both managed to leave the camera in the car when we went into the restaurant, so that was pretty bad. Anyways, we had a nice meal. It was really good. Fantastic. Nice yep. to get out for a little while. Yep. We had a bit of a wait before we got in, so I think we had to wait around for about 25 minutes, half hour kind of type thing. So it's almost time for the kiddos to get home, so we are heading home. Hopefully we beat them home, otherwise they're sitting on the driveway for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> We had fun though, it was good. But yeah, we had fun, it was a great night. So I think we'll just, we'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you, um, you hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And, and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll try to do some more of these. It was kind of fun to do today. All right, bye.